Welcome to Sippin' Tea with V. It's your girl V. Brown. Y'all already know what time it is. We about to get into what? Power. Now, as y'all know, I couldn't bring it to y'all last night, but like I said, I do got the plug, so I did watch it last night. Um, I just watched it at a later time, like an hour or two later than when it came on. No worries, though, because I got the tea. So, let me go ahead and pull up my thoughts on that. And before we get into my thoughts, we're going to go ahead and see what we sipping on right now. You know, it's early and I still got to go grocery shopping. It's 5.56 Eastern Time, Eastern Standard Time. And I still got to go grocery shopping. So, you know, I ain't going to drink too much because I am going to be driving myself in grocery shopping for myself. So, let me show y'all the new teacup slash mug or whatever you want to call it. This is my teacup if you ask me. But here it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me turn it to y'all like this. This is it. Y'all can read it. Yes, yes. I hope my hands ain't ashy while I got them all in the camera. <laughs> but this is it. It says dream. Um, in a series of images, thoughts, or emotions going through the mind during sleep. To think or conceive of something in a very remote way. So, I'm always like dream big. Uh, don't let nobody stop you for dreaming. Go after your dreams. Um, and if you can dream it, you can be it. You can do it. You can achieve it. So, that's my thing. But, yes, it's your girl V Brown. We sipping tea with V. We about to get into it. Let me go ahead and sip me some tea. Mm-hmm. Now this whole thing is not full because that would be um too much drinky drink. It's uh only Monday, you know. I gotta chill out. Um, but let's see. So I got me some. Let's see if y'all uh -huh, I'm back. I'm back in action, back in action. I'm gonna have to get a new bottle after a while, but this is Crown Royal Apple. Um, y'all know my fave, and along with that, I got some Sprite, of course. So Crown Royal Apple and Sprite. And we're going to go ahead and get into last night's episode. What did y'all think about last night's episode? I was really into last night's episode, but it was some things that just didn't make sense to me. So we're going to go through the full episode. I'm going to give y'all my rundown and also, while also giving y'all what I saw take place. You know, my observation of last night's episode. So the episode picks right up uh, with Ghost and that damn Angela. Mm-hmm. Um, they're out in public. Uh, they arrive to the club in the same fashion. If y'all remember season one, when Ghost arrived to the club uh, with Tasha. And they got out of the car. They stood up at the top on the second floor of the club looking amongst all of the, uh, you know, party goers. And, you know, just drinking and taking it in, right? It was kind of sort of uh, just like that, that first episode. So, you know, they have a whole relationship built on lies and sex, but I'm going to get into that. Tommy prepares to go get, um, to go kill Ghost. Holly whines, as she's always whining, because she wants to go with him. Tommy isn't, um, Tommy isn't taking any chances with her this time around. He don't want her to be able to see anything, know anything, hear anything, for her to even think about giving it to the police, the DAs, whatever. You know, he don't want to put her at risk this time around. Tommy tries to go uh, squash a beef between two squads, but that doesn't go well. A fight breaks out, it ensues, and you know, the police come and everybody run. Meanwhile, Ghost is at um he's at the club trying to keep the club running smoothly, you know, making sure everything's going good. The streets don't have no ghost or no product. Something is going to have to give because you know, usually when you know something like this is going on, ghost goes, he shakes hand with the right people, meets with the right people. If he has to exchange things, he makes it all happen so that you know the streets are happy, he's happy, family's happy. And it's all good. But I feel like lately, Ghost's world, his life has been just turned upside down. And he feels as though he's still in charge, but he's not. He's not. Um, Ghost and Angela, they communicate through sex. That's what I feel like. Because they have really no communication. Like when we see them talking, they having sex. When they doing something, they about to have sex. When they look at each other, they about to have sex. It's all sex, sex, sex. That's what they are about. Sex and lies. And that can only lead to destruction. 
So somebody gonna be destroyed. I don't know if it's gonna be ghost. I hope it's not. But I don't know if it's gonna be ghost, Angela, Tasha. Somebody is going to be destroyed when it comes down to the final, you know, shebang. Somebody's gonna be destroyed. Tasha is handling the home fort. Um, she's trying to keep the kids' heads right. Uh, their son, Tariq, he's feeling away because he doesn't know why or what happened to Sean. Now, y'all know Sean was Ghost's right-hand man. He was trying to, you know, bring him up, show him a different world, a different life, you know, make him as uh, as well as he's book smart, trying to make him street smart. And y'all know, y'all remember Sean's dad is Kenan. So Sean got killed at the end of last season. And here we are. Tariq wants to know. That was his boy. Like he would come over, play games with him and everything. So Tariq is like, what happened? Like ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody telling me nothing. What happened? Just That's what I want to know. What happened? Um, This DA guy, Greg. Now he's trying real hard. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he got a hard on for Angela. Or if he got on a hard on for Ghost. And if, I don't know if it's for two separate reasons or the same reasons. He might want to put both of their ass under the jail. You heard me? But um, he's going to do whatever he has to do to make that happen. To, to see both of them in prison, he's going to do whatever he got to do. Ghost has Andre. Y'all remember him as Dre. Last season he was Dre. But Ghost says, you know, when we in the club environment, you are Andre. Okay? Um, now the only problem is you can't take a street nigga, you can't take a street nigga off the streets and expect his street mentality to disappear with it. Cause I mean that's just like you can take a you can take a hoe off the stroll, but you can't take the stroll out the hoe. Like she's still gonna find a way to hustle, get hers, get money, get cash, whatever. You know, trick or treat, boom boom. Okay, so you know you can take him off the streets, but if that ain't first of all the club life ain't really what Andre wanna be first second you taking him off the street making it see like that's just gonna change his whole mentality when he not making that street cash he not moving fast like he was in the street so he you know that's not andre everybody ain't meant to be corporate everybody ain't meant to be a businessman some people like the streets Let's see. So Lobos was damn near killed in custody, and now his attorney wants this all wants all of his charges dropped. N not gonna happen at all. And if it did happen, you already know it's some corrupt shit going on. If that was to happen, Ghost shows up to his home that he shares. He shared the past tense, you know, to his wife. Uh, the home that he shared with Tasha to talk to her about. Um, them sitting the kids down and explaining to them, you know, this is what's going on. Me and your mama separated. I'm with Angela now, and this is what it is. So I'm like, Arr! post, ghost. We got more pressing issues. This what you want to sit down and talk to the kids about? We we have way more bigger issues than you sitting down talking to the kids about Angela. First of all, you need to be sitting down to the kids apologizing to them. For just leaving up out of their lives like that. Like one minute they got their, their dad every night. And then the next minute he's over off somewhere in a small ass apartment. Beating down the DA. Like what the fuck? No ma'am. Tasha thinks they should be talking about Sean. I agree. I think that Ghost needs to man up. He needs to be the man that he is. And he needs to sit the kids down and talk to them about Sean. He, he can't leave everything to Tasha. Damn she doing it all. Ghost got to do something. And Tasha is also accusing Ghost of being the one that killed Sean. So, Ghost like, you know, I can't say this no more. He sits down and tells her the truth about what really happened to Sean. Let me just sip me some tea because I feel like I've been talking a whole lot and ain't no tea going on. So, let me sip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, odd. Okay, let's see. So, um, you can see the hurt in her eyes, in, in Tasha's eyes, um, you know, when Ghost prepares to tell her what really happened. Um, he then tells her um, his face is actually messed up because he killed Kenan and Lobos. But little does he know, 
baby little does he know um tommy's crazy ass is having a meeting with all the folks in the game i'm talking about he eating at every meeting everybody got a plate prepared for tommy he's leveling up if you ask me Angela knows she better be careful now because if the truth gets out that Lobos is alive, not only will her career be at stake, but so will her freedom. Her and Ghost Freedom shit, they might as well just go ahead, uh, give they give up their freedom papers or whatever. Because if if um if anything, first of all, if anything happens to Lobos, Angela's going down. If anybody finds out that Lobos is alive, Angela's going down. If anything, anything goes on with Lobos, Angela's going down. Okay. Um, Tasha goes to see Tommy. She tells him that Sean is dead, and Ghost said Kenan is uh, Kenan is the one who killed him. Now Tommy tells her, "Well, good luck with that, because uh, yeah, I'm out of here." And he proceeds to walk off. But as hard as Tommy tries to show and you know act like he is and everything, he does love those kids. He does love um Ghost and Tasha's children. And he stops dead in his tracks when uh Tasha mentions the kids. And Tommy tells her he's sorry about the kids and you know what's going on with them, but um you know he can't really do anything right now. Like he's he's not really on that and and he proceeds to leave. So, Greg is trying to put some heat on Ghost by showing up to the club, asking all different types of questions. Nah, Greg. I don't know if you know, buddy, but Ghost is a killer. Now, we might see Ghost having a lot of things going on with him right now and, you know, all this stuff. But Ghost is a killer. Don't ever get it twisted. So, if you could end up in a body bag in a morgue with somebody trying to identify your ass. For fucking with ghosts. Keep on. All I'm saying is keep on keeping on. Um, the DA working on the case with Angela is working with Lobos. Now this shit was twisted. Real twisted. Let me set my seat. Messy ass DAs. Can't trust them. Can't trust them. Can't trust them. Okay so from them. Ghost went looking for one of his bottle girls. One of the girls who um, hosts, you know, the parties at um, Truth. So he goes looking for her. He called her on tape delivering that bloody card, the bloody tarot card uh, that seals your fate, like seals your death. It is basically like that sign, that signature. You're dead. <laughs> when she didn't show up for work, he went to her place and got a bloody surprise. She's dead in her apartment, baby covered in blood Tommy is a light ghost on this in the sense that um nothing stops his business dr business drama beef even sex with his beloved Holly child he will stop right in the middle of getting it um if it has anything to do with business Lobo's deal with Tommy is kill ghosts all is forgiven business is back on and I don't think that's so easy. Like, I don't think that's going to happen just like that. Like, you're not just going to kill ghosts and think you're going to ride off into the sunset. Not going to happen. First of all, ghosts ain't going down without no, you know, without no type of fight. You know, he may be trying to get out of the game and really pushing to get out of the game. But he ain't going down without no fight. Let that be known. Ghost and Tasha sit down to have a dinner um, and discuss Sean. They tell the kids that he was in the hood and there's no telling what was said or done to warrant him getting killed. Mm -hmm. Ghost then tells the kids that there aren't any plans of him coming back home. I think that was harsh and another blow to them. And I don't know if the kids were ready for that. Like they just got the blow that Sean's been killed. Now they got to get another blow that their father isn't coming back home. And you know that could be hard on anybody. Especially a kid. That could be really tough. So Tommy is off his fucking rocker. Off his complete fucking rocker. Um, as usual he snatches two men up. Wraps them in bubble. <laughs> wraps them in bubble wrap. Throws one of them off of the roof. And then shoots him. A few times um, just to show the other guy who the fuck he is y'all know you can't fuck with Tommy let me show you who the fuck I is all right 
So after letting him know to deliver the message to the guys, th this dude think he free and clear. He like, okay, can I go ahead and take this bubble wrap off? Baby Tommy answer was him pushing the dude. Kid, I think he kicked his ass over the fucking um off the fucking roof. And he he's like, what, what? He can still deliver it. He can still deliver the news. I'm deliver the message. I'm like, oh Lord, Tommy. First of all, you never leave nobody alive and think you gonna live. That's that's rule one on one. If you pull a gun on a motherfucker, you better use it. If you fight a motherfucker and you tell him you gonna kill him and you don't kill him during that fight, you better run. Okay, I'm telling you. Now the guy that was with Tommy, as he does this crazy ass shit to these people, um, causes Tommy to fucking freak out, and he reveals who he is, which he's never done. So Tommy has never. And you already know ghosts don't play that shit. So he's never pulled his mask off during any type of anything. But during this thing, he shows the guy his face. Like, what the fuck? And, you know, when the dude mentions ghost, Tommy loses it and says, ain't no ghost. He's out. He's done. I'm the new, I'm the new boss in charge, okay? I'm him. So, I'm like, okay, Tommy, get off your little high trip, like, calm your nerves. Now, old boy hurries over to Truth to see what the hell is going on with Ghost. Angela's in the background watching it all. The dude tells Ghost um, what Tommy did and that he was to go, he has to go do a pickup on Elizabeth, which lets Ghost know that Lobos is alive and well. Because they are still doing pickups for Lobos on Elizabeth. So Ghost like, wait a minute. You going to do a pickup on Elizabeth? Why are you still doing pickups for Lobos? You still work with him? And the guy like, yeah, like why wouldn't we be? Yeah, we still work with him. Like that's, you know, that's our guy. Andre goes to Ghost's office looking for a tie and finds the bloody car. And he like, oh shit, you know, like, oh fuck. And I'm saying, like, Ghost, why you even trust any of these dudes? Like, I wouldn't trust none of their ass, okay? You can't even trust Tommy, so who the fuck you gonna trust? Ghost fires his general manager, but the way he fired his general manager in front of the whole club staff, I'm not sure what exactly happened. I feel like they came out of nowhere. Now, I already knew dude was shady, right? I knew he was shady, but... What was his name? Santos? Santos? Whatever his name is. I knew he was shady, but I felt like Ghost didn't do it in the best way. Like, he didn't make sure he had everything together or anything. Like, he did it on impulse. And you know, Ghost isn't an impulse decision maker. So, I don't know what happened to have him fired up or riled up like that. But Ghost said, fuck that shit. I'm not playing with their ass. Um, where was I? Yeah, so he says he needs some loyal work, um, some loyal workers with him, um, and if his ass show up again, uh, they are to call security. You know what I'm saying? Angela tells Ghost that Lobos is alive, but he thinks that um, Menes, 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 he um thinks he's the one who ordered the attack. Now, mama, listen, Linda, that ain't it, that ain't it. Lobos is taking your motherfucking ass for a ride. Now, you trying to go over there and take Ghost for a ride, but see, Ghost are already up on game. He already know that Lobos knows he's alive. He was just trying to put two and two together and figure out how the fuck, you know, what the fuck happened. Um, Tommy goes home with a, a pan pizza for Holly. Everything's for Holly. He goes home with a pan pizza and finds a trail of blood. He follows it and sees that Holly's dog has been slaughtered. I mean, the poor dog. You know, I'm not a pit bull lover because I was bit. Um, the back of my leg was scraped by a um, pit bull that was trying to get to me when I was a little girl. And you know, so I'm not a big, big pit bull lover. But I love them when they're small like Holly's dog was. Or even smaller when they're really, really puppies. I love that size. They just get big so fast. But I love that size when they're pit bulls. 
And I was like, why they have to do that to the puppy? Why couldn't it just be Holly's desk? I'm ready for Holly to go, y'all. I want Holly dead. I want, um, what's the, what's the fucking girl name? Angela. I want Angela dead. I need, uh, Tasha to get back on her shit. You know, her don't play that shit. Um, I need Ghost to get out in these streets. Now, I don't want him to become, you know, back in the game. But I need him to get out in the street and let these dudes know, like, listen, if, I don't know if y'all done forgot, but I'm motherfucking ghost. But you know what is going to happen? When Ghost finds out that Kenan's, um, Kenan's, how have you say his name? Kanan's, um, uh, Kanan isn't dead. When Ghost finds that out, Ghost going to lose his fucking shit. Like, I done tried to kill both these motherfuckers. Lobos and Kanan. And you mean to say I couldn't, I couldn't do either one? I didn't kill neither one of these motherfuckers? Oh, no. Ghost going to lose his shit. You can believe that. Um... So after having sex, uh, after Ghost had sex with Angela in this last scene, um, she goes and gets in the shower while Ghost calls Tommy. And you know, this is the first time he and Tommy have talked since, you know, the big ping, ping, pow. Like, I'm out. This is what it is. You either gonna respect it or check it. I ain't fucking with you. You ain't fucking with me. Ever since... Uh, Tommy found out that, you know, Ghost was the one that sent Holly away. All this shit collected together. So, Ghost calls Tommy to let him know they need to talk. And I agree. I feel like they should have been talked. It's been a long time coming. They waited too long. But, you know, it's time. It's time. And it's going to happen. And I hope it goes better than what is to be expected. So y'all let me know what y'all think this season is going to bring. I'm I'm here for this season, y'all. I think it's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to be some twists because I feel like a lot of stuff was left out of the first episode. Like, why was the general manager fired? We knew he was slick. We knew he was shady. We, we already knew he was stealing money. But, like, why was he really fired and in the manner that he was fired in? And the chick that they kept putting the camera on, is that Dominique? The little light-skinned chick, she had um, her hair, like, in a natural style. Was that Dominique, his, like, chick that he goes to, to, you know, find out what's going on in the club? Was that Dominique? I think that was. I think something going on with her, too. And who else? Um, keep your eye on Andre. I think Ghost really needs to keep his eye on Andre. Um... Where the fuck was Holly? Now, we saw Holly. I seen Holly on the next, the upcoming episode. So, I know she wasn't snatched or taken. So, where the fuck was she when the dog was slaughtered like that? You know, I just got some questions. I just got some questions. I really want to know if they're going to find Tasha another love interest. Because I was kind of featuring that. I was kind of liking Tasha having her a little side piece. Like, why she can't have a little side dick? And, and, you know, Ghost gave him some side pussy. It ain't even side pussy. Now he's trying to make that main pussy. So why can't she have no side piece? Why she can't give her a little side dang, 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 dang? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. But I'm here for it. Tonight is Love and Hip Hop's night. Um, so I will be reviewing Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Um, I want to tell y'all about this show. This video is getting pretty long. Is that 28 minutes? 23 minutes. Oh, this video getting kind of long. Okay, so I'm going to try to wrap this up really quick, but I want to tell y'all about a show that I actually was just introduced to today. I've been saw the previews for it like a while ago, maybe like a year ago, but I really want y'all to check this show out, and maybe some of y'all are already watching this show, but the show is called Ballers. It's called Ballers, and it comes on HBO. Uh, it's a show, what's his name? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Y'all know The Rock, he used to be a wrestler. He was a football player. Um, and you know, now he's a big famous actor, um, worth millions and millions of dollars. Um, he's actually, you know, one of the head characters in this show. And I love the show. Like today, you know, I watched the episode of two or three or four or five. <laughs> We're six. I think about episode six. But whatever. I love the show, y'all. So y'all get into that. It's called Ballers. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to review it because everybody don't have HBO. And like I said, y'all know I got my plug. So, you know. HBO, Cinemax, Stars. Like, I got my pl plug for the, those type of channels. Well, Cinemax is more of a, a movie channel. But still, I got my plugs for those type of um 
channels or whatever. So yeah, Ballers comes on HBO's. I'm not sure what night. I think it comes on Sundays. I'm not really sure, but I like the show. It's 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 very interesting and it's a good take on the football world. If you're into football, you will be interested in watching this show because it's like a it's like the game. Y'all remember the game from BET? It's like the game, but more realistic. If that makes sense. Like you can see that this is what's going on in the football world for real. If y'all get me. But anyway, I'll be back tonight. It's your girl V. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Um, make sure y'all subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that subscribe button right there. <laughs> and I will be back with y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Remember sip tea. Always keep it sweet. And one more thing before we go, because it might be a different um, mug when I come back. Always dream, 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 dream big, dream small. Um, believe in yourself, have faith in yourself, and know that if nobody else can get it done, you can get it done. All you got to do is believe. Mwah. That's your girl V, y'all.